own terror case gets one step closer to a prison sentence tonight. Detroiter Sebastian Gregerson pleaded guilty this afternoon to a federal weapons charge. The feds call him an ISIS sympathizer and say they worked hard to keep him off the streets. Local 4's Rod Maloney is live downtown with the latest. And Rod, where does the case stand now? Well, uh, Gregerson is behind bars tonight. He's been there since last July, and he's likely to be there for the next several years. We'll get to exactly all how that works out here in just a minute. But his status as an inmate has also changed as well. He's going from charged suspect to convicted felon. 30-year-old Sebastian Gregerson looks quite different today than this picture drawn in court last summer. His ponytail gone, his long hair shorn to a buzz cut, and a nod to his Muslim faith, his long beard remains. Today, he stood in beige jail garb, responding to a long list of questions from Judge Arthur Tarnow with simple yes or no answers. He pleads guilty to knowingly possessing a firearm and a destructive device in a plea deal. Judges require defendants to admit what they did in plea deals, and so here's what Gregerson said, quote, On July 31st, 2016, I met with someone who was an acquaintance in Monroe who had some relationship with the FBI, end quote. He didn't know about that relationship before he arrived at the gas station where they met. He said, quote, I took possession of firearms I knew had to be licensed and registered. And when asked about what the FBI informant delivered, he said, quote, the destructive device was an M67, a fragmentation grenade, end quote. The feds say Gregerson traded a Beretta M9 handgun for explosive grenade parts designed or intended to make grenades. According to the court records, Gregerson made statements both online and in person showing support for the Islamic State of Iraq and Levant, which is ISIL, a federally designated foreign terrorist organization. And while he faces no terror charges in this case, the feds point out he made statements relating to committing violent acts against so-called infidels. Now, as for the sentencing, he could get up to 10 years in prison on this charge, but because of the plea deal, the guidelines say something between 36 and 47 months, but they didn't have a pre-sentence report done on this, and the judge was concerned about that. So he's pushed the sentencing off now until June. Reporting live downtown, Rod Maloney, Local 4.